are listening to Society X on Rage Breed Radio. guys hope you are doing good so we kind of delayed society x because i wanted to go and see paradise lost and um 
I thought it'd be kind of cool to sort of bring uh, to the show a little bit about what happened at the gig and everything. So massive thanks to DHP uh, family who uh, put me on guest list to see the band and everything. And um, it was great to see Moonspell as well as the uh, supporting band, who which were also great. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the show was absolutely brilliant and it was really good because you could see throughout the decades of the types of different styles of gothic doom Paradise Lost have actually done, you know, throughout the years. And it's really interesting to see, you know, when they kind of had the older stuff and then they had the sort of the newer stuff and especially with the new album, really, really good stuff. Um, But it was nice for me to... um, uh, listen to the last time by uh, Paradise Lost by Draconian Times because obviously you know I've got my particular favorite albums and stuff throughout the years and one of the biggest um, albums for me when it came to Paradise Lost was Icon and I used to wear the shirt at you know college and stuff like that and school and um, it was it was one of the albums that really got me into writing poetry and abstract art purely because of the artwork of the album, but also the way that Nick Holmes writes his lyrics. I was absolutely flabbergasted when I, you know, read the poetry. It just wrote, really spoke to me, and um, you know, so I kind of incorporated a a kind of an influential poetry style from Nick Holmes, believe it or not. You know, that's why I write poetry on the sideline as well as obviously write for My Naps and Lake of Dreams. So this band has been a very big inspirational point for me. And, um, you know, and then once I heard Icon, I, I, I just listened to all the other stuff that they had released, like Gothic, Shades of God, um, you know, and then I remember sort of when it was my teen years, you know, they would release Draconian Times. And, um, you know, it was it was such a great time for music at that point. You know, it really was. It was they had some of the best albums, uh, you know, around then. And, you know, I, I just think Paradise Lost have just done so well. And then I kind of got into their newest stuff a little bit later on. Um, I think it was Thomas that introduced me to a track called Pray Nightfall. And I thought, actually, that's really good. It's a different style to the stuff that they were doing before. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was equally, you know, very, it's a very good song, basically. Um, so I started to look, listen to a little bit more stuff of theirs, you know, the, the not so heavy stuff, but like one second, really, really good. Um, just say words, you know, they, they, you know, those kind of tracks, which I equally loved, you know, it's very, very good stuff. And, I'm, and it was really nice to see some of the stuff they played tonight, which was from their recent album being in the last two years. Um, but, but it was kind of cool for me because, you know, I wanted to hear that kind of stuff live, see what it was like. And, you know, because I think I've only had a few listens to that album. So it was nice to see it, you know, in life form. What I really liked as well, there was a really, really doomy, kind of almost esoteric doom song that they played today. I was absolutely blown away because, I mean, you're going from sort of the traditional kind of gothic doom, the ultimate paradise lost sound, to something really fucking doom. And I really like my funeral doom as well. So you're talking like bands like Worship, Esoteric, you know, it was proper dirty sort of funeral doom, you know, it was bloody awesome. Really enjoyed that. And, And this is the thing. It was a really dynamic gig tonight. You know, it wasn't, they weren't playing the usual things that you would expect them to play. Like, I thought that they probably would play True Belief or Ember's Fire, possibly. They didn't do that. They, they you know, they really did um, some really great original songs tonight. And I was, I was just this is really fucking good. This is, and don't get me wrong. I love my embers fire and I love my true belief and, and all this, but it was, it was kind of nice to see them bringing, you know, different decades of the band to the forefront. And, and it was really enjoyable because of that, in all honesty, because it wasn't just like one thing all the way through. It was so dynamic, but still Gothic doom, you know, it's, it's, it was, it was great. I mean, I have to say it's probably the best of sudden paradise lost.
I, I will say that. I think in the beginning when they first came on stage, you couldn't hear the vocals a little bit. Um, but then literally during the song, it got, you know, it's always like that with the sound. It's always like that with the first song because you're trying to get the levels up. But no, absolutely brilliant live today. I was, and, and you know, even the persona of Nick Holmes today, I mean, he was, you know, he was really engaging with the audience and making jokes. And um, I love that. I love that kind of, banter that he did tonight it was really really good so really very very glad that I went tonight and there will be a write-up uh, about the gig as well in Rage Breed magazine issue two so you are gonna you know get a little bit of that as well so I'm very glad I went um you know because it's so difficult with COVID you know being a problem so I am ex extra careful when it comes to gigs and going out and stuff purely because I am kind of high risk but I've had my booster done and I've had you know all these things done so it's not like you know I'm not vaccinated and stuff but the problem with me is I catch colds and flus very very quickly so I have to be particularly meticulous and very very careful about where I go and stuff so but I just thought, you know what, it's 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 Paradise Lost. They're one of my favourite bands, so you know I had to be there. There's just no question, you know. Um, the times when I've seen them, I, God, I've I've lost count the amount of times I've seen them. They another great show that they've actually played before was with Opeth, and actually that probably was my favourite show. Um, Opeth were playing, Paradise Lost were playing, two of my favourite bands. And they played Rock City, and um, it was it was phenomenal. What a great gig! I mean, seriously, it was it was really really good. And if you're an Opeth fan like me as well, um, you know, seeing both those bands in the in the it was probably the highlights of both careers. I think you know. Um, but yeah, I I definitely recommend seeing Paradise Lost live as well. Um, and definitely buying the latest album. So absolutely. And I have to say, it was really nice going to see them in the rescue rooms because it was it was it was a really good turnout. It was you know, for a Monday night, for Valentine's Day as well. Sorry, I'm drinking uh, some tango stuff. It, it's that it's it's kind of like I call it my doom drink. It's like this dark berry flavor tango, but it's got no sugar in it, which is really good for me. So yeah, so I, I'm 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 blown away. I'll be honest with you. I just think Paradise Lost, excellent band, and I think you guys should definitely check them out. And um, and and I would even check out sort of earlier albums through to now, and you'll see what I mean about the dynamic. You know, it's really fucking cool. It really, really is. So I'm going to stop boring you now. Because <laughs> as I was saying to uh, Anthony and Claire, I can talk for fucking England. I really can. Once you get me started on music and a topic, that's it. I'm well away. Um, but yeah, it's all good. So I'll speak to you guys later. Enjoy the music. You're listening to Society X on Rage Breed Radio. You are listening to Society X on Rage Breed Radio.
place, 100 candles burning. A salty sweat drips from her breast. Her hips move, and I can feel what they're saying, swaying. They say the beast inside of me is gonna get ya, get ya, get ya. I 
long for my time to come Death means death life Please let me die in solitude
terror. This is what you call me. I strike terror among men. I can't be bothered by what they think. I bear my cross, my soul, myself. I forgive, but I never forget. I have been put upon this earth in female form, but I can handle myself with the best of you, as well as the worst, and I often have. I have the right to remain silent, but I choose to speak, sing, scream. I am lips, hips, tits. I am the power of a woman. Strong like music, true like friendship. But without my friends, there would be no music, only spoken word. It won't work. I'm cold and distant, yet warm and close to those who deserve to see that side of me, part of me, the heart of me. You find me so hard to understand in your world, the world you perceive to be so normal. I am deformed, scorned, reborn. I am me, and I know exactly who I am, what I am.
is all about It's all about